Life on the Red Horse Ranch. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> At the rodeo in Danville, Alabama's beautiful horse lost the first race because someone had placed some cactus under his saddle blanket. Alabama and all the boys of the Red Horse outfit believe that Steve Bradford had something to do with this, and they're all the more sure because it was Bradford who finally won the race. But the Red Horse outfit are winning their share of the honors in the other events of the rodeo. Let's join them. Ranch, didn't you? Yeah, I guess I was pretty lucky, Mr. Carter. Oh, well, hello, Miss Rose. Good for you, Bob. You were swell. Say, listen, don't waste no time with me. Tex Owens is next in line oh, to try really? to ride that outlaw horse. What? You mean that horse they call Cockstrew? That's the one. They're offering a mighty good reward here at the rodeo to the man that stays on him. I told Tex not to try and ride Cockstrew. Why, that's a killer. Bill Roberts busted three ribs yesterday trying to ride him, and, and Bill's one of the best riders in this part of the country. I won't let Tex ride him. Oh, no looks like it's too oh. late for that, Dad. Here he comes now, out of the chute. Hey. Oh. oh, Dad, I never saw such a wild horse. He's riding him clean. Ride him, Tex. Boy, that sun-fishing critter. Stay with him, cowboys. Sun-fishing ain't going to get Tex off of him. Man, what a ride. Well, Tex can't stay on forever. Yeah. Oh. That fool Cayuse has thrown himself plumb on the ground. That horse is going crazy. Yeah, the horse is getting up, but what's happened to Tex? Why, Tex is still in the what? saddle. How did he do it? That outlaw ain't through yet. Watch out there where he's going, Tex. He's heading for the base. Look out, Tex! Look out! Can you beat that? Tex is still riding him. That's enough oh. to win any prize. Why, crash right through that thing. Oh, they're pulling him off now. Good work, Tex. Good oh, work. I guess that'll show them how they ride on the Red Horse Ranch. Yeah! Mr. Carter, Rose, did you see Tex ride that horse? Oh, Alabama, it was wonderful. Yeah, that was the greatest ride any man ever made in this rodeo. Yes, Come sir. on over here, Tex, you old maverick, you. <laughs> who, who told him pull me off of that horse? I was just getting started. <laughs> I got a thing for us, Tex. Oh, yeah. You ain't asking much of me. Well, wait till I get my breath, boys. I reckon the rest of these cowboys here can sing a little till Tex is ready, folks. Sure. Come on, boys, give them a little San Antonio. Yeah. Oh, huh? Come on, boys, let's sing a little. San Antonio, Antonio. She hopped upon a pony and ran away with Tony. If you see her, just let me know, and I'll meet you in San Antonio. Yes, Arizona. Yay! Play it, boy. That's fine, Arizona. San Antonio, Antonio. She hopped upon a pony and ran away with Tony. If you see her, just let me know, and I'll meet you in San Antonio. Come on, boys, let's sing it. Come on, boys, let's sing it. Come on, boys, let's sing Out of 
Tex is singing. Yeah, Tex. I'll see that he sings for you folks. Hurry up, Tex. Get that guitar. Alabama, where's Dewey? Isn't he with you? Well, I don't know, Rose. Oh. I thought he was with the boys. So did I. I'll have to go and hunt him up. Well, Alabama, the boys are doing mighty well here at the rodeo, ain't they? Eh? I'm mighty proud of them, Dad. Yeah, with Bob winning the roping contest. Yeah. Tex showing him he could ride that outlaw. And how? And Idaho getting his chance to ride in the final horse race tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> Even Cookie caught pig. <laughs> <laughs> me, me and poor Red are about the only ones that disappointed you. Well, don't worry about that, Alabama. This is his first race. Well, I guess Tex is ready, folks. Right, don't on, forget Tex. the uniform, Tex. <laughs> 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 I married me wife in the month of June. Nickety knockety now, now, now. I brought her home by the light of the moon with High Willy Wally and Jimmy Bandoodle and Sammy Coristical. Now, now, now. I had two cows and the both were good. Nickety knockety now, now, now. I told her to milk the one she could with High Willy Wally and Jimmy Bandoodle and Sammy Coristical. Now, now, now. Milk the wolf and hold my pot. Nickety knockety now, now, now. For the one of, for the one of us strength to stop. Hi, Willie Wally and Jimmy Van Dougal and Sammy Goldristical. Now, now, now. For the want of a churn, a churn, she used me. Nickety, nackety, now, now, now. For the want of a used her foot with high, foot with high, Willie Wally and Jimmy Van Dougal and Sammy Gold. Now, now, now. Well, I guess you deserve a little rest now, Tex. I'll be overlooking at the rest of the Broncos. <laughs> And once old Tex Owens gets started, there's no stopping. <laughs> <laughs> Say, I guess Arizona and Monty and Idaho are up next here yeah, to play yeah. for the folks. How about it, Arizona? Yeah, I'll do my fandangle for yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll wander around and be looking for Dewey. Oh. I can't seem to figure where he went to. All right, we'll be waiting for you right here, Alabama. All right. What's that, Alabama? He and I are the best of friends. I ain't gonna talk to you anyhow. I'm hunting for Alabama. <laughs> well, that's the way to talk, young fella. You know, I like lots of spunk and a kid. Say, uh, your dad was quite a fella. Of course he was. What'd you think? Well, he was a good friend of mine, too. Say, uh, he had quite a bit of money, didn't he? Of course he did. Guess he give it to you, too, eh? No, I'm not gonna talk to you. Well, say, Dewey. I've been looking for you. <laughs> oh, talking to Bradford again, huh? No, I ain't talking to him. He's talking to me. You're telling him how to slip cactus under a horse's blanket, Bradford? No, I, I was just remarking that it's too bad some people can't be good losers. You better keep quiet. Hold yourself there, Dewey. Come on, <laughs> let's get back to the boys. <laughs> the boys are still entertaining the crowd. Come on. Hill, the toughest man in town. He could draw his guns and shoot while you was turning round. In their holsters by his side, them guns looked peaceful there. 
But if you got old Bill Mather, Mark would rent the air. Once he got into a fight and twenty reads for cats. But before they pulled them, boys, Bill's bullets drilled their hats. I ain't bragging about this man, but you should see him shoot. Sixty paces, he'll go back and perforate your boots. There's a tree on Batman's Hill, his branches are so bare. From the valley way below, Bill Clinton sleep from there. He was waylaid in the dark, and how them guns did roar. When the shooting stopped a while, Bill hollered, shoot some more. Just over across the way. Oh, hey, I'm Alabama, I've been looking for you. Sure enough, Idaho. What's on your mind? Alabama, I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to help me out tomorrow. Well, sure. I'll do anything I can, Idaho. What's the trouble? Well, I was all set to ride silver in the final horse race tomorrow. Well, if I can help you win that race, just let me know, Idaho. Oh, that's the trouble, Alabama. I ain't going to be able to ride silver in that race. What do you mean? Why, Idaho, you've got to. Why, that's the only chance we've got to bring that prize saddle to the Red Horse Ranch after me and Red losing out. Don't make no difference. Silver can't run. He's got a split hoof. Oh, say, but how can I help? Alabama, you can take Red and ride in my place. Red has another chance to win. That is, if Alabama agrees to enter him in the final race in Idaho's place. Let's not miss that 